Welcome back to our last championship of the weekend. Here you have our 8U division, Michigan Elite versus the 8U Bows from Hawaii. And they take a shot on the very first play of the game, throwing the ball downfield. Nice throw. Should have had that catch. Incomplete. Second down of the first possession. We are coming to the end in our 13th championship of the weekend. And we have our 8U division playing for the national championship. Our largest division of the weekend. These teams have fought hard and looking to go home champions. I can't believe what I'm seeing. The 8U Bows drop back for another pass. Number eight makes a pass across field spiral at eight years old for a long game. First down, Bows are taking control. Bows have first down going into the end zone and they're coming out firing on all cylinders. The Bows are playing Michigan Elite. Bows took over 14 hours to get here, and this quarterback at eight years old looks like a little Marcus Mariota passing the ball with no issues, zero issues regarding the defense. It's like Michigan Elite's defense isn't out there. I've not seen many 11-year-olds throw the ball like he's throwing. Here we go. He drops back to pass, looking left. Number eight makes the completion. Bows. The center with a quick dart route to the left. Look, look at the position on these passes. He does look like a little Veneri. Mark Mariota back when he played for Oregon. Veneri's under center. Butter. Out wide left. Veneri is under center with the green Hawaii rainbows. Looking uni on. Looks to the left. Has somebody right in the middle. Butter. Right in the, right in his stomach. Delivered it like the mail. That was a great throw, great catch. I, I saw this kid come out and throw a 25-yard pass. Look at him flexing. Pass. You know, little Deshaun Watson. He threw a 25-yard <laughs> pass on the first play. Came back through a 15-yard route. Uh, all spirals. 6-0 bows. Here we go. Looking left, looking left. Back to the right. That was, that was some heat. He's, I'm telling you, this kid's got an arm. This kid's got an arm. Butter wasn't able to come down with it. But Veneri's coaching that team like the leader that he is at quarterback, flexing on him and everything. That's a quick 6-0 lead for the Bows against Michigan Elite. Man, the, you just don't seem – you don't see arm talent like that. Before you six. got back from the restroom, while yeah. we took our quick break, the Bows were already in the end zone. All right, here we go. He's going to be um, – And look, oh, at, look th at this arm. Are we sure we're watching 8U? Yeah, no. Eight, is it 8U? This oh, is 8U. Oh, I thought it was 6U. Holy moly. Okay, 8U. Yeah. At least that makes it feel a little better. I was like, but we but watched still. a lot of games today. And to see the arms on these quarterbacks at, is, eight. at eight years old is just blowing my mind. Look. They wind up trips left under center. Here's the snap. No motion. So they're throwing the football. Standing up tall in the pocket. Oh, picked off. He's still up. Oh, ends up getting tackled. That was a nice interception. Standing Look that Look how flat. little he is. Acosta read that perfectly. Here's the, here's the replay. They're all bunched up in, in a trips formation left, so. He's going to stare his, his guy down just too much. Makes that jump, number 30. Those those instincts we Look, talked you, about. Yeah, you can't coach it. And now, look, woo! Bows are up 6-0, but. Without blowing your ears out, I'm just so impressed because he had a man, and Butter. that throw was just look crazy. look at, look for a coast of number thirty coming across this coming across the screen to the right. All right, here's a snap. He's going to be looking to the right, looking looking back to the left, right into the hand of a coaster number thirty. He didn't go right. I apologize. He went left, but you could tell that they were setting him up. And after getting their interception, Acosta is rewarded with a deep pass left. We're, we're looking at it again where the defense isn't choosing to rush a quarterback. Yeah, and I think with the arm talent that we're seeing from this QB, that's just not an option. You know what I see with this Hawaii team? And, and I want you to take a look at this for me. Here's after a snap. Play. He's going to go ahead and look to the left, look to the left. Butter. Stays right there. Did it get 
caught. No. It does not. And he's grabbing his ankle. He looks like he might have just got it caught in the ground a little bit. And something, something while, while Butter's down and they're attending to him, Veneri looks like he may be a coach's son here. But when, something I see with this Bose team, mm -hmm. they're not going to the sideline and huddling. They're on the field looking at the coach. He's calling a play out verbally. Yeah. So that lets me know that they've practiced, that they're prepared, and they're able to keep the simple in this game up, which allows them to probably be in the situation that they're in. Yeah, very impressive with uh, what Veneri has been able to do. But now, Bo's on defense. Here we go. We're not able to capitalize there. Snap, no rush. He's going to go ahead and look deep. Doesn't find anybody. He's got somebody right across the middle. Puts it right on his numbers. Look Flag gets throw. pulled. And now, that, very good throw. That's a great throw. If you could imagine a, a referee counting one, mm -hmm. two, three, all the way up to five for you to get rid of the football, knowing that if you get to five, you're going to take a sack to be nine years old, or eight years old, and to forget about that and complete a pass like that, that says a lot. We're going to have a quarterback battle on our hands, folks. Yeah, very nice play from both the Bows and Michigan elites. And now, on, on the ball, under center, takes a snap. Looking to his right. He's got somebody right wide open in the middle. Doesn't take it. And now we're getting really close to it's going to be a sack. Just like I mentioned, that, that pressure gets to you, though. I'm That's telling a, you, that, that is a coverage gets to you. sack if I've ever seen one. But they ran all seams. They Almost all of the receivers ran seams down the field. Let you know that we have a big arm at quarterback. But if they're dropping back in that zone and nobody's rushing, you've got five people covering four. That's hard. Yeah. You, you're going to have to make super accurate throws. And we saw that this Bose team is able to jump in front of these plays if you make a mistake, and now they're under center. There is that fake handoff, and he is just going to be back. He's got somebody wide open in the middle, and that is going to be taken down. Good catch by number 22. Running basically a square in right across the middle of the field, deep enough for the first down and then some. Here we go. 6-0 currently for the Bose. And Michigan in elite threatening. There's the handoff. Excuse me, fake handoff. He's looking. He's looking. He's got somebody in the back of the end zone. Doesn't see him. He's going to go back to his left. What a throw. Back to his favorite receiver. May have gotten away with a little flag yeah. guard there. But, but the flag was pulled. It was, that was a very dangerous throw because if he is off at all on that, that's going to go right into the hands of a Bose defender. But when you have an arm like he has, I think you have enough confidence to do that. And he's got confidence. He's, He's like, got, I can put that wherever I want. Back under center. Third down. Looking around. Gets the snap. Going to keep looking to his right. Back to his left. And he's got some. Oh, boy. The Bulls defender had his hands on the ball but could not finish it. And now Michigan Elite is on the board. Dolan, number 29, started to throw them bows and make sure That's that right. the bows were not able to take that pass. But look at him coming across the middle of the field. They're standing in that chip formation, runs a score, and works with his quarterback, works with his quarterback. He finds him, secures the ball, says, That's my ball. Yeah, very great grab by number 29. And here is the conversion. And he put some zip on it, but it didn't make it. It's still going to stay 6-6. Six, six. Now, we know that it's 6-6, six, six, and we know what that means, and we've been talking about it all day. And with it being the last game of the day, there's no need to not talk about it now. Extra points. Yes. Both teams failed to convert on an extra point, and that could be something that comes back to haunt you. Well, we're going to have Veneri, number eight, at QB, looking to his left, looking, looking, shipping it all the way down. Goodness. And it was just a little bit too much. I, but I, look at these. I'm mesmerized. You see that I, throw? Listen. I have been impressed with... He threw uh, better than the ref. Uh, yo, he... This is a kid that I'm sure has got to be playing on some of the older teams, too. This is just pure arm talent, uh, accuracy, strength. If he was just a little bit taller... Well, and, and the beauty of this, and don't tell Kyler Murray that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but in, in this game, that's the beauty of it. Now oh, he can wait a minute. Hey, this is you knew that was coming. Right up the middle, doing his best. Marcus Mariota in present. And hey, he's going the sideline. The side I believe that's going to be a first down for the Bows. And beautiful play from Venere. That's a huge gain on 
second down, you see the handoff there, a nice handoff. There was no air in between. So it wasn't a direct handoff into the belly, but a legal play right down the sidelines, tight ropes for a first down. He does a fake handoff, comes back across the middle. I, I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm just shocked at the arm strength of both of these quarterbacks. To be able to throw the ball down the field the way that they are at this age, you know, they've been playing for a long yeah, time. Yeah, and think about it. There's a reason that these two teams made it out of their groups, made it through the brackets in one of the largest groups out there, and you can He's see open. the oh, wide open. Too easy, the bows strike back. And he flexed it on them. Veneri throws them bows and goes up 12-6 to six on Michigan Elite. And I just don't see how you stop them. No. Is there a better football name than Butter? But No, Butter, he's is on a roll. Is there, that's what I'm saying. Roll. Is there a better football name than Butter? Look at because butter. when he grows into his body, right, like when, let's say he's a, a skill player, everything is going to be oh, butter. Butter, hom butter on bread. <laughs> <laughs> the play was Butter. Look at Veneri. It's, he's like, he, he knows there's a penalty. Yeah, he knows there's a penalty. Did, so did you see him yeah. directing the offense out there? He's like, no, 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 no. Go, go. Wow. He's eight years old. Know there's a penalty. Know that he can afford to take that sack because <laughs> he's going to get another chance. And he does. Half the distance to the goal Look, line, he gets another chance. It's comedy because they're so good. This is a kid like, I'm sure, if you didn't know his story and you're – picking your teams for football. The kids are like, we're not going to pick him. He's too small. And then he goes out there and punks everybody. Puts it right on him, and on, it, it is going to be a conversion there. That will make it 13 to 6. That, Veneri is out there showing emotion, getting this team hype, scoring touchdowns and extra points. Doing it all. And... He's also making good decisions. That, that, that's the key here. At the, having that arm strength is one thing, but to be able to keep your cool, make good decisions, make the right reads, and, and put your team up at... Yeah, it should be 13-6. to six. Uh, And the bow's on top. But if we hadn't been talking so much about Veneri, the arm strength for... Our Michigan is just elite. as good. I mean, he's just as great. And you can see right here, he's going to have somebody coming across. He's got all the time. He's got to got to get rid of it. Makes a good decision. Gets the check down. But did you see he let every, he let all the space clear? So all the verticals ran upfield. He hit his check down, and and that's there all day. That's, I, I mean, he could do that another six times. And he has the opportunity to do that. And he has the patience to be able to do that. But he also has the arm strength to make that throw downfield. Right. In case they decide to try to jump that route underneath, Absolutely. he can go right over the top. Of so the Bows are going to have to make sure that they take care of that. One minute and 45 seconds left until halftime of our last championship. I think they have to score. I think they have to score here. Here we go. He's going to go ahead and pretend. And he sees... Oh, he's got somebody wide open, but he was really... Oh, my God! Catch. What a catch! He was laid on it! But does it matter? That's the arm strength that we were just talking we, about. We he said can, it. He, 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 can let that, he can let that play develop because look at this. He takes the ball. He fakes hand. The fake doesn't fool anybody. He drops back. No one's rushing. He looks. He looks. He looks left last second. The clock's ticking down. Look at that. Ooh! I Ready? mean, Bidler with the hands and the feet to stay in bounds because he was about an, a millimeter. From going out of bounds, stays. Unbelievable throw and catch. That's huge. What about the body control for these players? He literally absorbed that contact, was able to spin, stay in bounds, and potentially have the opportunity to tap this football game going to halftime. Eight years old with that kind of body control on the sideline. And, and then the heads up to take it to the house. You know, what, I don't, what you don't see that often is that kids these days, let's be real, if they're playing tackle football, they're not making these types of passes or they're not being, they're not even calling these types of plays. You know what I mean? So this is making them a great flag football quarterbacks. This extra point's huge, though. But this is, you say that, but He's wide this, open. this kind of armed, oh, does get the completion there. And that looks like it was, is that Silva? Oh, they say he's out of bounds. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what happened. Veneri, can we do? Can we get a replay of that really fast? I don't know if it's possible. Oh, they're right back on offense. They're oh timeout. 
So while they have a timeout, maybe we can get a replay of that last play and just take a look and see. That was sl s we, I missed the beginning. It was about maybe 10 seconds before that. It was okay, we missed it. That's okay. So they're talking about they're talking it. About they're it. talking about it. And this is what we talked about earlier. The, the refs are screen. not afraid to say, maybe we made a mistake. Let's huddle up and make sure we get it right. We had one ref. It looks like they're saying he stepped out of bounds and came back in, maybe. Uh, but he had... The call was incomplete. And now, are they going to uphold this? It appears that the call stands. they are. But they talked about it. It looks like the receiver ran out of bounds. And came tried didn't reestablish. We had that happen earlier. It'd be the first attempt. All right, so here we go. That looks like Bose that with the call. ball. He's Veneri. looking left, looking right, looking left again. Back to try. Thought about going to Butters, and he's going to take the short, number five, and this is going to be right before. Look at him run. You see that? I'm telling you, he's the leader of that team. He, he jumped on he, it. He knows, he's like a little coach out there. Number eight, Veneri, is doing it all. Looks to his left, sees Butter. He's got him one-on-one -on -one and overthrows him. I told you, the best football name in the universe, Butter. Butter. I mean it. Especially if he's an offensive lineman. If he ends up being an offensive lineman or a tight end, there's just no. I will be ready in fantasy football for you, boy, when you come out. I'm like, with the sixth pick in the sixth round. And the, we could say we knew him. My fantasy team, I'll be like, it will be butter. We could say we knew out him. Out of Hawaii. <laughs> I knew him when he was a kid. He was a big kid. And now he's a grown man. And it is 13 Butter's to 12 been bones. running those streaks down the sideline. Right. Veneri's been looking for him. I've just not seen an eight-year-old kid this whole weekend. I don't know why I have not seen them play before right now. I feel like they – I missed out. Yeah, I feel like they could have had their own channel. Yeah, Michigan Elite, too. Their, their quarterback for Michigan Elite is – This is one of those times where you wish you would have, like, had all of their games recorded and we could have given the hype video that this deserves. But you understand why these two teams are here, like you said, because for them to have the – arm strength that they have and the poise that they have yeah. at this age. And you have to remember, Goodness. too, that the, like, the way that the groups were set up, it was like a predetermined group. So they didn't, there was no favors done. They just beat who was in front of them. They came in, got the victories, made it to the finals. They didn't care who their opponent was. They just got the victories, and now they are leading going into the second half of our national championship game for AU, again, our largest division, and they're showing why both these teams, not, and it could still be anybody's game. It could be the Bows, it could be Michigan Elite, but both of them are doing it. So. All right, we talked to the refs uh, down there, and he just, he went out of bounds on that play, and obviously, if you go out of bounds, you can't be the first person to touch the football. Yeah, so that's, it, that's kind of what we figured happened there, and that's what – Good that call come back to her. by the refs again. So let's see what Thurston has to do. This is the first time we get to see him from our end of the yep. field. Thurston's arm is just as good, if not uh, yeah, it's, it's longer it's, than He's a little Veneris. taller, uh, and he's been able to make these throws. So there's that fake handoff that fools nobody. He sees somebody streaking down the middle of the field. Wow, wide open, but that's okay. He, he gets something. He's poised. Yeah. And, and if you think at eight years old, you in your mind, you know that clock is going. You're, yes. Your dad's probably on the sideline. Right. You and know you don't want to take that sack. you got to go home with this man, right? Yes. So you don't want to don't wanna hear his mouth all night long. You're not going to take a sack. You want to be able to go to Wawa afterwards. <laughs> and he, it's, yeah. But I, that is a great decision. He, there was that throw down the middle of the field, but he would have had to possibly reestablish himself and his footing to make that throw. He took the easy one and lives to see another day. Here we go. There's that snap, the fake handoff. Looking to the left, he's got he's that wide. same throw. He's, he's got the same throw. He doesn't it? see him. He doesn't want to make it. And does go. He's still up. Number 12 still going. Look at the play Acosta made on that again. Acosta came back to make that play, but your but, man, number yes. 22. I want to talk about, again, this quarterback. Look at this. Thurston. He... Grayson takes Thurston. a snap, he looks. He says, okay, there's that play. He's got the streak down He's the middle. Eight. He's like, uh, I'm not sure about it. And he says, give me the easy one. He's eight. He's eight. He's eight years old. Eight. He's eight years That's, old. That is – All right, here we go. We're going to be live again under center. Takes a snap. He's going to look again. It's the identical he, play. It's the same exact play. But and this time he doesn't have anybody. He's got to throw it. He's got to throw it. He's going to go deep. It and it's broken up. up. And – 
That the you, problem is you can't run the same play against. I hear if it, I mean, you took the words right out of my mouth, Rob. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I get that, but they're running the exact same play, yeah. exact same routes over and over it. and over again. And I look for him to hand the ball. He's I've yet to see them do this. Right. But hand the ball off. But hand it off to Thurston. Uh, but he hasn't and see what happens. But he hasn't shown that he's going to run anywhere. So. But they're not rushing him. Right. But he's a stereotypical passer. He's going back there. He's going to have trips right right now. Here we go. Takes a snap. Doesn't have that fake handoff this time. Looks to the right. He's got somebody wide open. Can he make one guy miss? He yeah. does, and he's going to take it to the house. Michigan takes the lead 18 to 13 Look, over the Bulls. Give me the ball. He's like, I want the ball. I got my red Look at face. 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 Hey, look at now. Here, look, here's the replay. Going to go ahead and take it back. Looks to the left. Doesn't see anybody. Out. Has the easy one. And one play <laughs> takes him, puts him on ice skates. And look at him. The emotion from these kids, this look means at, a look lot at his to face, though. He said, He's a, Yeah, give me the ball. I told you don't give me the ball. He said, you know. Give me the ball. You know you should have given me that ball. <laughs> Why'd you wait so long? 13-18. So, here we go. Can he make this conversion and make it 20? Gonna going go to ahead and go back. He's looking going to left, 22 again. Looking left. And he's got it. Oh. Going it to 22. Doesn't Incomplete, complete it. unfortunately. Five-point game. Anybody's game still now. It's going to be Veneri. He was flexing on him earlier. Can they continue? Veneri doesn't look rattled at all. No. Biddler, he Biddler, he Biddler, Biddler's feeling it right now. Look for Biddler to make a big play, playing free safety All right. There. There's still no rush, and there is whoo, right on the – wait, is he still up? He is not – gets tackled. That throw was perfect. Did you Hits see the catch? In stride. Did you see the catch? All hands on the catch. Okay, Look, here we go. Wait, wait, here, is this the replay or is this This live? is the replay. This is the replay. Check it out. Watch him come so, across the middle here. Oh, it says replay out there. Good job. Five. Guys. All right. Here's Five the snap. comes across and he goes, the middle. Makes that move. And as soon as he look at that. Oh, That's my ball. <laughs> it's, I, I'm loving it because the route was so good. You can tell this is a great coach team. Very, very well Imagine coached. what this team looks like when they're going to be in 17 years. Ah. It'll be like professional football. By the time they get there, they probably won't even be allowed to play 17 years. They'll be like, no, nah, man, I'm going to uh, – Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> These my kids daddy are, won't let me play. I got to buy him a house. I mean, but we've seen kids twice their age that oh. didn't play this well. I'm not, nothing against the nothing other Nothing against the kid. This is just but talent. throwing and catching. And this is QB versus QB at, at, the, at the highest level. And here he goes. He sees somebody. Oh, that's the first bad pass he's made. Just a little behind, behind him. him. But to throw such a tight spiral. And Acosta seems to be someone he's very comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So Acosta played, made a great play on defense, running crisp routes, getting open on offense. And Veneri, they're not going to the sideline. They're not waiting. That's, they're getting more plays in because the coach is calling he's in the He's going to go singles. ahead and get the snap. He's, 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 he's got the player open. He's going to go deep. Ooh. Also, uh -oh. a little bit off the mark. A little bit. And but the pressure's building. Yes. The pressure's it, building. It is the second half of the national championship game. Yes. This Bose team from Hawaii took a immensely long trip to be here. Our guys from the, the Michigan elite. This is also not a short trip. Takes a snap. He's looking. He's looking. He's got the one-on-one -on -one deep, but there is a safety coming over. Oh. Plays defense. Play. 22. Biddler. 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 You said Biddler was going to make a big play. He said, I'm going to block the ball. I'm going to block my opponent. I don't care. I block my player. He's on my team. Sack, well, take it for the team. As a middle safety, early I mentioned Biddler's. You look, can see the emotion. Look at him play in center field. He look at him play in center field. He it. sees it. Comes and makes that Ruckless, move. Ruckless, abandoned, puts his body out there, breaks it up. And, and the 10 got hurt, and he said, hey, it's okay, brother. I can't breathe. 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 But now. Here comes Thurston. Thurston. Trips left. Fake handoff or not, we know let's exactly see, what's coming. I, know, let's see, I want to see him do the fake handoff to nobody. He doesn't. He looks left. He's going to be able to look not deep. Oh, he does go deep. And that oh. is, no, that was not good. That was not a good decision. He, pat, they, he There was but, safety help there. He's got to go back to taking what the defense gives him. He doesn't need that right now. There's not that much time left in the game. So let's give, give your offense the opportunity to – just make a what, play. What we have, what we, what I see right here is w he was more comfortable with that fake handoff that wasn't really a fake handoff. Right, because it was, it's that. And look, look where they're going they're back. They're going to. right back they're to it. Here we go. He's not going to fool anybody. Nope. There's, no, there's, there's that fake handoff, stuff. but it's the, it's it spreads the field open. Yep. And 
Don't He's got. Think. He doesn't have anybody. He's going to go right back to that short pass. That was the one that got picked off. But right now, he knows that's there for him. And that's Bidler, his safety valve. And Bidler's feeling comfortable. Bidler knows that yeah. I'm the man. You're yep. throwing me the ball. You're feeling it wide open, and they're going to go. They have to go back to it because yes. if they don't do this, there's not a ton of time left, and you've got to think that Benary is going to come back. Yeah. Let me get a time check really quick from the ref. They got it for us. So here we go. Under center. I really like them just giving that fake handoff again because it, it's just – it makes him feel good, I think. The he's going to look to the better. left. He's got somebody to the right. He's going to just take the easy one. Like, get, take what the defense gives you. And they turn over yeah. on down. And that's it. But that's – look. He knows that they trust that defense, okay? Right. we got about seven minutes. They've been able to keep this Bose offense in check for the most part, but it's still one possession. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, yeah, they're only and they're only up by five. That's what I'm so. saying. It's one possession. Right. So now we have Veneri taking it from under center. He's looking deep. Doesn't have anybody. He's going to go ahead and push it. Butter. Nice. Get butter. Good butter. But that is a flag. So it, butter's still good. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to waste. Yeah, pass. I don't want to waste my butter on a roll yet. I'm going <sighs> to wait until it's the right time. Illegal forward pass. Yep. That's going to be a loss of down. And the coach knew it. Coach Veneri knew it. Butter knew it. Butter got butter got <laughs> open, and he ran it. Yeah, butter butter was trying to score. Yeah, I like it. it. So let's see what here let's, we go. Let's see what they do here on second and long. Venari under center takes a snap. He's going to go ahead and look to the right. Doesn't see anybody open. He's going to go ahead and now he does have number five. Oh, makes wow. a move right Good back move to the center five. of the field, and he is going to get caught short of that flag pull was huge. Yes, they're outside of the no run zone, but they're not running the ball either, which is a crazy to me because it seems like. He is no, we, really fast. We, we saw it once. once. And he, took, he got we what? We saw it once. Like almost half. He what? He got at like 30 yards on at that least. one? At least. All right. He sees he's it. Open. Oh, he's open. He throws. He's oh, open. what an adjustment. You don't see kids making catches like that, man. These kids aren't eight. He, the, the throw was off. The adjustment see? made was unreal. Savage, Savage Saint, I think it said in the back of his jersey. Does he was running and literally turned backwards to Look catch at this. the pass. Look at this. That's Here we go. unbelievable. He makes an interception. Oh, no. Wow, we're looking at the replay. It looks like it's going to be able to go to the house, but Michigan gets the turnover. We were giving them so much credit about the catch, and then an interception happens. That is something who is that, that who is, is. Is that the QB? No, who is that? That's that's the running back who doesn't get the handoff. The, the fake handoff. <laughs> that was – it was right there, right in the middle of the field. They were taking advantage of those plays in yeah. the middle of the field that allow them to get the chunk yardage that they needed. Yeah, and we, and we don't have the replay on that one, but – Man. That that was tough. That's – but – It's still, it's still one, one possession game. The Bows could easily get back in this. There's the fake handoff. Not he's going to go ahead and look to the left. Look to the left, still looking. Look, he's wide he's open got him back wide open in the zone. middle of the field, but he's, gonna, he's just going to continue to take Bidler. that little stuff. Why not? Bidler's probably got nine receptions Easy. already. Easy. Easy. Four and a half minutes left in the game. game. So even if there was a score here, that would take it up to still being a two-possession game. Yeah. And there's not a lot of time left, but Michigan Elite has to know that this is their time. I think they have to be able to get this touchdown right now. Coach Dolan is walking off the field knowing that if I can get this in the end zone, this will be a pretty commanding lead this late in the game. Yeah. But Hawaii's had this bend, don't break mm -hmm. mentality, so we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. He's going to take it under center, looking to the right. Watch number 10 coming across the screen. Takes the snap, is going to back up a little bit, looks to the left. Number 10. He's got someone, doesn't like it, looking back to the right. The wide receiver's moving. He found his guy right back in the middle field, slips down, and that is going it's to be great short. To see, it's great to see kids at this age being able to work with their quarterback. Quarterback yeah. doesn't see their initial read. They're making two or three moves to get open. But again, five seconds is a long time to cover anybody. Anyone. So that's why you never see it in the NFL. No, that's, that's hard. That's really, really hard. But third down... This is it. This this could be the biggest play for the Bows defensively. Everything always them. boils down to a couple plays. He's under center. He's going to go ahead and take that snap, backing up, moves to his right, back to his left. Does it? He's got him right in the middle. There's the oh. touchdown. Michigan Elite on the board. Six more, 24 to 13. Could this be their 
their championship run. Let me tell you something, man. That kid, that kid Grayson Thurston, number one. Look at look at the poise. His feet aren't. He doesn't have Peyton Manning happy feet. He. <laughs> I'm sorry, when he threw the ball, he knew that it was good. You see him? He threw it and started jumping in the air. Up. Like, it, 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 <laughs> wasn't there yet. it wasn't even there yet. No. And now they're going for two because they, they need to. They're yes. going for two to be about a touchdown and an extra point. But to see an eight-year-old quarterback throw a ball knowing that it's wet, it's like Kobe shooting the three water. Like, oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. He's salt bay. Here comes the like, fake, <laughs> fake handoff. Yep, we know the fake. fake. One Bid of these times he's going to hand it off. No, he's not. No, yeah, he's never going to hand it off. And here comes Bidler. It's never going to we should have had the over-under in Vegas on will number one actually hand it off to 10? Impossible. There it is. It's a fake again. No one's fooled. Number 22. He's got him looking, looking, looking. Nobody up. Just, just, just throw it. To bid. Oh, he got hit by his own guy. This um, is Michigan Elite. Fill in your championship square. One has not handed it off to 10. 24 to 13. The upset of the tournament in the making. Venary back, going deep. He's got a man. This there he is. Over. Does he get the right dig it? He oh, gets man. it he right at the down. end. Inside the no run zone. Venary said no, sir. Pushing the pace. He it's said not it's over. not over. We came all the way from Hawaii. We are not going home. Not yet. Not now. He sees it. Butter. 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 There is a call. Here we go. It is Let's time. Go the extra, point. extra point. I'm telling you right now, this has been an exciting. Veneri takes the snap. He's going to look easy. Oh, no. That extra point You see Veneri matter. about through his helmet. That extra point doesn't matter. Right. So, because they're only down by five. But what's going to happen? How much time is left? I'm, it's got to be under a minute. I don't know. I mean, we're going to find out right now. But I'm going to tell you something. Biddler, Thurston to Biddler is like Breeze to <laughs> Thomas. Okay? And this is like on the other side, you got Pat Mahomes <laughs> to Travis Kelsey. It is beautiful football going right now. If you would have told me that eight-year-old football would be exciting, I'd be like, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> What did I scare? <laughs> Fill in your square. The handoff happened. You get it. 47 fake handoffs <laughs> in a row. And then you give the ball. If you have if you shot. have the 1 to 10 handoff square on your championship bingo, that was coach, you win. Coach, I don't know if that was Coach Dolan or Coach Sliwa or whoever made that call. Call of the game. What? How, we're Call of the game. We're getting a little loud in here. It's been the last game. They said this was going to be the game of the tournament. It's living up to the hype because there wow. still needs to be a first down. Otherwise, this could be. We know the that post. they could score in one play, but there was literally 37 handoffs without <laughs> a handoff. <laughs> 37 fakes, and num number 10 takes Finally gets him to sleep. We said that's what they did. They lulled him to sleep, and now. We're going to get a time check and find out we, how much do we have left. They, they're going to run. There's an, I guarantee you there's another handoff coming. I, 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 feel, like, I feel like it, There's too. another handoff coming. Here we go. I guarantee One you. under center. He's going to have eight still, still at running back. Still with the getting his handoff here. There. He's going to go back. Eight is sitting back there. You knew eight, it there. Eight, eight, we eight, we eight, all eight, saw it. The Bulls knew what was going on, too. Oh, 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 no. They're calling a flag guard, and the clock will stop. That's a huge The turnover. That's a huge penalty. But he did. He flag guard here, and you can see that's not legal in flag football. When they're attempting to pull your flag, you're not allowed to stiff arm or impede them from pulling your flag at all. So the clock will stop, meaning if Hawaii can get a stop here on this they, play, they will get the ball back. get the ball back. And with Veneri having a chance to do anything, Anything is possible. All right, hold on. Thurston. Hold on. Uh, hold Thurston. on. I got I to get ready. Thurston the I got to prep myself here. Drew Brees to Michael Thomas. Yes, Thurston the Biddler. If, this, down. if they play defense here, 31 seconds left in this game. Thurston the Biddler. It's all 
on number one. I'm telling if you, if they can convert, Grayson Thurston has shown a lot of poise today. Look for him to get the call, ball to Biller coming across the middle, right at the first down line. Here it is. There's a snap. He's gonna go back. He looks right. Doesn't have anybody open. There's the handoff. He's gonna take it back up. Does he make the tackle? Oh, they're gonna get the ball back. That's a turnover. The ball back. Bows. Veneri and the Bows have the ball. Oh, this is what we're asking for. Veneri. Possibly 25 seconds left on the clock. With the ball. Championship in his sights. Can he do it? Number eight from Hawaii. I, traveled about around the world. Can they go with the championship? He's going to go back. He's going to go deep. He's got a man. He's got the complete same play. Oh, he's tripped. We're looking 17, 16. And about 16 seconds. This. They don't have a lot of time left. They go, but has... They're right on the ball. They're right on the ball. Here we go. Man jumps off the field so that he doesn't have six on the field. There's a snap. He's looking, looking. He's got nobody. He's going to go deep. Oh, incomplete. this is it. Is this the pro clock that's incomplete? How much time is left? Second down. There's at least another play. Here we go. At least one more play. Hold on. I'm going to get ready to stand up here. I've... We're not, I've got to stand up. Yeah. Watch we this. might only have one play left. We're getting a six, six seconds. seconds. Here we go. Six minutes. This is the whole game. Here it is right now. Six seconds left. The Bows from Hawaii. Veneri at QB. Hey, it's been, been waiting on the goal line saying, try me. Try me. You tried me once. You, you lost. You tried me once. You thought. And now, can they do it? Will the rainbow of a championship end in the end zone? He sees his man. He's going to go to him. No. He's looking for butter. Oh, it's too long. He was going to butter. The clock is. Incomplete. Looks like. Wait. Is there going to be one second on the clock? That's the it. The has expired. Michigan. Elite. Are. Your. A-U champions! What a game. What a game. Congratulations, Michigan Elite. Grayson Thurston. I have chills right now. It's Thanksgiving again. It is unbelievable <laughs> like football. Like goosebumps. Like, this is a This amazing. was a QB battle for the ages. Like I said, it felt like Drew Brees and Michael Thomas <laughs> against Pat Mahomes <laughs> and Travis Kelsey <laughs> the whole time, but it's your Michigan Elite 24, the Hawaii Bulls 19. Congratulations to both teams playing their hearts out. Grayson Thurston, Eugene Bidler, the fifth. Uh, the fifth. The fifth. One, two, three, four, fifth. Wow, that, that is, that's the way to end the largest youth tournament this country's ever seen. Yes, and they cannot bow their heads. Not at all. They played unbelievable football. At the end of the day, you've had 242 teams come from five countries, 32 different states, all over to come and battle for what these kids just did right there. And I'm literally... They left it on the field. And they didn't take a playoff. Not at all. From games that started at 7 o'clock this morning, and they almost had 7 o'clock Eastern time, these kids poured their hearts out, battled to be exactly where they are, and they came up just a little short. And they did it the right way. They didn't go out here and play dirty. They didn't go out here, call each other names. You didn't have the parents fighting out here. This was just hard football the whole time. And if you say that flag football can't be exciting, check your heart. Make sure you're not a zombie because this was the game of the tournament and it ends our day at the National Flag Football Championships. But we are going to talk to the Michigan elite once they finish celebrating. Hopefully I will have a voice, but it's just been so just unbelievable for you both know, I quarterbacks. Still, I still play flag football quite a bit. Do you think Venary or Thurston would give me their autograph? I, I hope so. I'm going <laughs> to have to go down there and get that autograph. <laughs> that is, that just to see that type of play uh, as a quarterback. It might see, be worth something later. It, I'm telling you right now, man, that, those kids and those coaches, those coaches are to be commended. Both the coaches. Are, absolutely. Both of those, you, nothing against anybody else because I didn't get to see a lot of the eight U games, but nothing against anyone else, but those two 
teams were not only well coached, their kids were well behaved, oh, uh, yes. very well respectful of each other, and I'm looking forward to see what these guys have I, for the future. Listen, I can't wait to see both these teams again. I could watch. I if you if they wanted to run it back right now, run it back, Turbo. I, <laughs> if they back. wanted to run it back, I would watch it. If oh, they told me I had to pay for the pay-per-view right now, I would watch it because these kids at eight years old were making throw after throw, making catch after catch, big play after big play, and everyone. And check you out. could be in the NFL right now, and you can take a lesson from the heart of the champion and from the loser of this game. And look at the sportsmanship displayed by Michigan Elite to come over there, talking with some of the players. Looks like they're lining them up to take a team pick. That's what you see on your screen right now. That's what this game is all about. That's yes. what this game is all about. That's what we try and promote here at National Flag Football and the game of football in general. You can go out there and battle yeah. for an hour, and after that, one big happy family, and one's team going home with little champions, and one's a runner-up. Yeah. But and at the end of the day... But they play this... In, in this situation, playing the way that they played, you can't take anything away from them. You can't... Just because the Bows are not going to walk or not going to fly home as champions doesn't mean that what they did today was any less impressive. Absolutely. They showed up and showed out and... Every single player in this tournament can learn from what they saw today. And if they don't, they're stupid. Yeah, shame on them. Shame on them if they look down on this Bo's team that put their heart and put everything out there. And they're upset, okay, because they worked hard and they wanted to win this, okay? But this is a team that's going to come back stronger. This is a team that's going to get a little bit older. They're going to get more talented. And they are going to be hungry to take down this Michigan elite Absolutely. team. And I love the fact that these parents are not out there showing their behind, doing all that, because champions don't do that. Absolutely. So we do have Autumn on the field with our 8U champions and that is the Michigan Elite. We have just finished the 8U Division of the Football National Championships here in Tampa. It was a hard-fought game. The game of again between Michigan Elite and the Bows from Hawaii. And I'm told that you guys have only been together about a month or so. Is that true? How does it feel to be a team that has only been together for about a month competing against teams on a national level? Great. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> and now you guys coming together, you bonded together as a team out there. What do you think is the most important thing to come together as a, as a team, team for a, a win, win like, like this? this? Play super hard. We work as a team. We let him some points, but that's okay. <laughs> now, all weekend long, you guys have been playing hard to prove yourself as a team that belonged here on the field tonight and eventually would win and take home the championship. Besides just that athletic ability, what do you think is something that carried you through these games this weekend? <laughs> now, if you had a younger athlete that wasn't sure if they wanted to play flag football or not, what would you say to them to convince them to try flag football? Just tell them if you try your best. That's great, guys. I hope you guys had a great time here in Tampa. It was so fun watching you get here to the championship game. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.